Doug, Doug is a is a pretty good streamer, and his innovative ideas when it comes to um, the inter connect interconnections, I guess, of of his of his content and sh and uh, Twitch chat, his chat essentially is outstanding and should be and it and it has been it has been um essentially uh praised he did become streamer of the year at, at some point i don't remember what year was it was it but he did become streamer of the year uh, for his unique ability to be diverse and honestly he his his twitch chat is probably the funniest twitch chat ever they're not you know they're not always trying to contradict their Twitch streamer every millisecond, like Moist Critical, and they're not always trying to meet ride their Twitch streamer like XQC. You know, they're they're always having they always have this level of funny to them. Um, even if they do overuse jokes, it's some they always they're always able to do some creative stuff with those overused jokes, and they're funny. And like I said, Doug Doug. Doug Doug's ability to find a way to make sure that the Twitch chat is able to interact with the content just as much as um, he himself is interacting with the content is innovative AAF <laughs> um, and is honestly deserves more praise right if you think about the the most popular trending trendy youtuber or streamers Right now, it would be maybe I show speed, queso, jinxy, um, Kaisenet, Aiden Ross, Neon, a bunch of people you may not have heard of, but they're they're the most trending, popular uh, streamers. But they're not innovative like these other streamers are. Like point, they're not as innovative as maybe Point Crow, Germa. Uh, Doug Doug um, You know they're not doing what these guys are doing. I know I show speed recently did a stream where he did like the world's um, Largest toothpaste he like he just messed with elephant toothpaste essentially that that was good That was good. That was that was innovation, right? And I'm I commend him for that. He's still a weirdo though who who, who has tried to scam his uh, chat and I don't forgive him for that, but at least he's doing something a little more, you know. Even though I just recently saw a Twitter post where he called, where he just got a new puppy and he named it the N word. I guess for clout or whatever, but I don't think a single person cared at all, which was the funniest part of that. But I, you know, he, at least he's being a little bit innovative, unlike other streamers who just incite riots.